Welcome back to the Sales Community Executive Event. I'm here with the host of the event, Randy Seidel. Randy, first of all, thanks for hosting us tonight. I mean, this is an amazing event. Tell, tell us a little more about it. Absolutely, it's awesome. Uh, we have uh, probably 40 odd, uh, pretty, pretty good kind of who's who of technology executives in the Boston area. Uh, for those that I didn't invite or forgot about, I certainly apologize. We had a great, great, uh, you know, fast response, you know, just like with you. And uh, we're uh, featuring Gong, so it's really a get together of technology executives, but you know, for the all important kind of sales tech stack now, kind of what's going on and how's it going. Uh, Gongs are featured partners, as long as uh, as long uh, as well as some others. Well, I mean, I, this is like who's who, like you said. We got Sneak here, Pega. You got you got uh, uh, Chris Riley from Data Robot. Service Now is here. I think Peter Bell is here from. You know, big, big time VC, Dell's here, HPE's here, Weka, the guys from Weka? Yeah, so you got to be careful listing out companies because then, you know, whoever you leave out, then they're going to be upset, so. Well, I mean, I just, the guys that, that I know, like you said, there's like 40 here. I just, yeah. amazing, yeah. amazing. And then a lot of the sort of interesting companies that I don't know as much, you mentioned Gong, who, they like sort of yeah, helping so, you sponsor yeah, so this? all of them come in, yeah, so it's, uh, Kind of the sales tech stack back 10 years ago was a big deal. If you had Salesforce, you had LinkedIn, but now there's kind of thousands of all these other tools. Space is start, starting to consolidate. So they started off in what's called kind of revenue intelligence. So it leverages kind of AI coaching and then also now uh, pushing over to the forecasting side and also uh, engagement side. Do you think a company like that will disrupt sort of the big whales in, in CRM, for instance, because they can move faster. Gen AI comes in and just changes the game. Yeah. I mean, probably similar to our old days with uh, you know, IBM and EMC back when we were Cub Scouts here at, uh, yeah, right. here at IDC. I was, I was at EMC in the 80s, but you know, probably similar thing how you know, EMC came up. Uh, but I think it's really kind of finding a swim lane. You know, IBM kind of had, the, say, the, the server and some other kind of hardware landscape. Uh, EMC came on with the uh, storage side, so I think this is similar on that kind of niche sales tech stack that you know Gong and others are, are coming and filling that niche. So how do you think? You know, I, I hear a lot of talk. You know, we're at stage two, right? You hear a lot of talk about how the BDR is dead, and then but the BDR is not dead, is it? It's just gonna it's gonna change. Um, how do you think Gen AI will affect just the entire sales process? Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, I think it definitely helps, but then the day I'm, I'm old school, but I still think you still need that human interaction. You still need, there's still something to be said for having those relationships, for understanding the value prop. You can leverage AI to kind of do the recap letters, but, you know, still when it comes back to kind of pure selling, I think it probably just, it turbo boosts things. So maybe you had the kind of first generation of that was, you know, kind of the internet. Second generation maybe was, okay, you know, leveraging LinkedIn, right? So you can do a LinkedIn, you, you can do LinkedIn in, you know, kind of five minutes, probably what it took us, you know, five, five days to do. Now, I think the whole AI is maybe a next generation to that. Yeah, so it compresses the, the whole cycle. Yeah. But, but enterprise still, sales still belly to belly, right? I, I mean, I'm a firm, different people have different thoughts, but I'm still a firm believer. And um, you still got to do the calls or the sales calls and the proposals. And yeah, maybe you've got dialers and your productivity rates are, are going to be up in terms of, you know, kind of maybe how many conversations you're going to do how many proposals you're going to do, but you still got to kind of go through what I'd call those kind of sales basics in order to, um, you know, get the deals done. And it's not just getting the deals done, but it's kind of having them know you, like you, trust you. So then they're going to listen to you when you go back in order to either try and sell them more, but you're not selling them more. You're really helping them. And then God forbid, if there's any glitches, you got to be there seven by 24 to help them. Yeah, and you you post a lot on LinkedIn. I, I've seen you post. I'm old school. You've got that kind of it old, might be school, old school, but. Old, old, yeah, it might be old school, but that theme. Um, but I think a lot of those, like you say, it'll be compressed, but and you'll be able to be more productive. But still, I mean, you have a lot of friends. You can't have enough friends in sales, right? Totally. Yeah. Whether it's you know peers or customers or partners or you know anybody, you got to look at your ecosystem and. You know, at the end of the day, it's, you know, what have you done to, you know, help them, right? Are you, you know, are you genuine? Are you authentic? If, you know, if you're working for somebody, are you kind of doing the right thing? If people are working for you, are you being authentic? Are you being genuine? Are you coaching them? Are you giving them feedback in a, in a good, helpful way? So your sales community, I mean, you started at when? Three or three, four years ago? Years ago I mean, it's really taken off. Congratulations. And it's through your really hard work, your contacts, your connections, but also your ability to publish content just regularly. I mean, you're publishing weekly, you go on LinkedIn Live, you, you wrote a book, which was an amazing book, just basically taking best practices from all your friends. Thank you, by the way, for letting me 
you know, give you, you my best practices. A lot of other so fun. Well, yeah. Your go-to <laughs> sales advisor. You can go to salescommunity.com slash book and uh, see it there and get it there. Oh, there you have it. All right, time for dinner. Randy, All right, great. Thanks, thanks so much for having us here. I appreciate, appreciate it. it. All right, keep it right there. More from the sales community, exec event. We'll be right back right after this short break.